What's up for everyone? We're Blackpink and we just had an interview on the Zack Sang show. Um, we had a lot of fun, so please check it out. Let's do this. Beautiful humans, hello. 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 We have Dan here. Hello. And we have Hi. the beautiful ladies of Blackpink. All right. Hey. Yay. 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 Please do not let my conversation interrupt you and your white chocolate M&M's. Oh. <laughs> okay. These are really good. By the way, there are nuts in them. Mm-hmm. We're good. We're, we're good? Yeah, we're all okay. Oh, yeah. Okay, I just wanted to make sure. You never know. <laughs> By the way, Coachella, what is going on? Congrats. No, thank you so much. <laughs> I mean, it's freaking crazy, right? Wow. It's crazy. <laughs> Absolutely nuts. I mean, do do you genuinely mean that when you say it? Because so much life is happening right now around you. And from the outside, looking in, it it could be seen as crazy. Yeah. I I have to say, when I was performing at Coachella, it was the most intense one hour of my life. Like, that was just too much energy from everybody. Like, I couldn't handle it. I'm still not over it. What kind of high is it when you're on stage and you look out and all you see are people uh it's i think it's but like you know how people say after you go on um a stage where you feel like you really interacted with the crowd um it it lasts for a long time and it's really addictive i totally experienced that this time so after the show we drove back to la and we were at our hotel room and i remember i just had to keep replaying it over in my head like again and again and it was like that was like the best feeling I've ever felt in my 22 years of existence it's it's really really surreal like like it's it's so like life-changing I loved the whole experience it's like so beautiful and everybody is just amazing like everyone in the crowd what is it like when you're up on stage? Are you focused on what's coming out of your mouth? Or are you focused on dance moves? How do you Usually, juggle all of it? Like when you're kind of nervous or when you're not like totally connected to the crowd, I feel like you have a lot going through your head. Like, mm-hmm. like what am I singing right? Or like, are these people feeling it? Like, what do I have to do more to like, um, you know, interact with them more? Like, I get um, you get a lot of thoughts. But honestly, I, me personally at Coachella, I just really enjoyed myself. I, mm. I could tell. Right? <laughs> I went off the same. Like, you know, it was such a big stage and I had pressure. We all had pressure and I went off thinking like, we have to perfect this. But then as soon as I got off, I was like, screw it. I'm just going to enjoy gonna myself enjoy and sing whatever I want. Is, is that because everything was kind of synced up? Everything was in line? The crowd was with you and mm-hmm. the energy was right? Definitely. Like, we didn't yeah. expect to have, you know, have such a big crowd and they were really yeah. singing their lungs out. Like, mm-hmm. they were singing with us and that the whole thing is just so, like, I don't know. I don't, I don't but care. that was, like, the best <laughs> part of it was that we did not expect it. And I think best things come when it's unexpected. Um like even in the morning of the show i literally i was in bed and i kind of to be honest was thinking okay maybe like today tonight there might not be like a full crowd mm-hmm. but still like i'm gonna have to do my best today mm-hmm. is what i thought mm-hmm. until we like us four, we walked out on stage yeah. we didn't even have time to talk literally about it but like- we were like <laughs> and then the music came on and i'm like Oh my gosh. <laughs> and it took me a whole hour to really figure out that everybody that was standing there was actually looking at us. Mm-hmm. They weren't there for like a different show. They weren't like faced like a different way. They were faced towards us. And it was crazy. Crazy, crazy. You set yourself up for the worst and the yeah. best yeah. ended up happening. Yeah. I mean, you, you said something pretty interesting, right? Like why you guys then right you didn't expect all these people to be there what is it about black pink what is it about what you stand for that people feel connected to the art that you release i mean that's even that's a question we ask <laughs> like I ask every day like we would like to know but um we're, I mean, we're four different girls that came from four different world and to be in a group like this is odd itself i feel like and to perform in with music that's that you guys have never heard because it's a little different. I mean, is it different? I don't know. I think it's pretty different. Okay, yeah, <laughs> different than what you guys are used to. So I guess people are kind of 
oh, that's new. You yeah. know, they're attracted to something new. So maybe, yeah. New is it. <laughs> and I also think your production's amazing on these records. And the way you guys flow between English and Korean <laughs> is so seamless. <laughs> it's really yeah. beautiful. Like in one record, it's, I, I, I spent all weekend really diving in. Wow. So let's dive in here. Um, whoa, where do I start? What one back to Coachella? You made friends. You guys showed up, or Austin, or uh, yeah, Ashton Irwin from Five Seconds of Summer. He ended up in the back of one of your Instagram oh, videos that you posted. Really? What? Really? Yes. Oh, we didn't even know. <laughs> he was, was there. Video? Yeah, one of the videos. It was it when we were like jamming to Jaden? <laughs> I really? Think, I don't know. I had, I had no idea. <laughs> this is we we haven't heard <gasps> <What>? this. <laughs> <laughs> the point I'm trying to make is: okay. Do we make friends at Coachella? Uh, we kind of did. Yeah. Um. Jayden? Yeah. Jaden Smith and That's Diplo cool. actually they actually waited out. Um, like we near our caravan to say hi. Yeah. So we got to say hi. Wow. They were like was, really really. They were so kind. sweet to us and. They they were, they were so down to earth like. Way more than we would expect them to be, and they were so like happy to see us they when we're all starstruck. Yeah. We're like, Hi, <laughs> <laughs> it's freaking Diplo, yeah, and Jaden Smith. <laughs> okay, Jenny, y you oh. there's so much here because you guys all have your own stories. Mm -hmm. You learned English by going to school in New Zealand, right? Mm -hmm. it, why go back to Korea and why dive into the trainee program and oh. mm -hmm. really I, I'm, I'm assuming mm -hmm. or did you always want to do this mm -hmm. like sorry well, so when I was in New Zealand I lived by myself like my family was living in Korea and you were so young I know I was I was 10 when I went there wow. <laughs> <laughs> and so by the time I I turned 14 15 my mom wanted me to actually move me, move me to the states like oh, i think in florida yeah she had plans mm. to move me beautiful but, florida mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah we we actually went took a trip to florida saw the school to saw the place that i would live in and it hit me like i don't want to live by myself in florida not knowing what i want to do and i started thinking what i want to do and it was really like i was like out of there i was like i want to do music i want to like learn how to dance and stuff like that so i told my mom mom instead of going to a new mm. school why don't i just come home and do something that i would enjoy for the rest of my life and mm. she was supportive with it and that's how it all started <laughs> wow whoa <laughs> your life really could have been totally different mm -hmm, and definitely. i think it's really special that you traded in not wanting to be alone mm -hmm. to having three incredible human beings around you all the time. Mm -hmm. Sisters. Instant, instant sisters. <laughs> human beings that you're comfortable enough around to like open your mouth so they can feed you M&M. Yeah. <laughs> like it's not, it's not every day that you're that comfortable around yeah. somebody. We've, we've, kind of, we've lived together for already ten like years? Yeah. almost 10 almost years. Ten years. So we're, we're I think we're closer than like our like Cousin. family. <laughs> So we're basically like, yeah, new sisters to each other. <laughs> Do you remember the first time you met each other? Definitely. Yeah. We talk yeah. about it all the time. Like, <laughs> the four of us. So Rosie joined us last to mm -hmm. the group. I and mean, she came through with her guitar and her <laughs> Aussie girl. Yeah. Girl, <laughs> brilliant. Little girl from Australia. She came along and us four, we just clicked and we just so all started funny. singing together from day one. I think that's the moment one. we talk about every time somebody <laughs> asks about like first impressions mm -hmm. is when I flew all the way from Australia. Like I brought a guitar <laughs> and we ended up like jamming till like 5 a.m. Yeah. On the first day I don't think we, we cared about what our neighbors <laughs> thought. It was, just, <laughs> it was an apartment that we sang <laughs> till sunrise. And it was funny. Yeah. Well, by the way, it is crazy that you left New Zealand to go to Korea to join because did you audition Australia, Australia I'm so yeah. sorry no it's okay because I was born in New Zealand and I lived in Australia and then I left did you audition for YG in Australia yes like literally like just an open audition w why'd you do it because my dad told me to <laughs> <laughs> I think he was my sick dad. of me like s like screaming at the top of my lungs on my piano every night at like 12 a.m. <laughs> Um, I think he was sick of me, so he just wanted to like get rid of me and just like, send me to South Korea to just fulfill my dreams. Yeah, yeah. 
<laughs> it's so funny. Once I grew up, they told me they were like, Rosie, like, to be honest, it was really hard for us to like, <laughs> you know, go to bed when you were like singing at the top of your lungs. I think I would sing like Beyonce's Listen <laughs> when I couldn't <laughs> read the notes. <laughs> Because I was a terrible singer, but I used to do that. And I think my dad was like, okay, I think she wants to do music. And he asked me, do you want to take an audition? And I was like, I don't even know if I was qualified. So I was like, mm -hmm. is that even a question? Like, can I? Like, am I allowed to? Like, but it was it was funny because I was like, um, yeah, okay. And then my parents had a whole fight about it. Like, mom was worried. Yeah. But at, in the end, they decided to be really, really supportive of, of it. And... Mm -hmm. I flew all the way from Melbourne to Sydney to take the audition and I got it. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and then what? So bizarre. Do your parents fly with you to Korea? Do they just ship you off? No, yeah, they flew with me to Korea, but then after they dropped me off, they had to come back to Australia because they've got their jobs there and yeah. everything. So that's when these girls became my like family and they really, really stuck by me through all those times. It's cool. 16. Wow. Years old. <laughs> and look at y'all now. Uh, by the way, Lisa, congratulations on being the most followed K-pop artist on oh. Instagram. Oh, so thank you. <laughs> I mean, pretty wild, yeah? yeah. Oh, I couldn't believe it. I yeah. was like, what? No way. <laughs> no way. <laughs> no way. <laughs> it's that beautiful hair. What color is your hair? It's it was ash brown, I think. Oh, it's kind of gray. gray. Is it gray? Not brown. Love it. Gray. Really? Like gray. Gray? Like cocky gray. A it used to kind of be more of like a blue tone. Yeah, but it that just turned cool. out. Like every day. Yeah, it's changed yeah. every day. Either way, it's beautiful. Oh, yeah. thank you. You made some history yourself. You were YG, and correct me if I'm wrong, you were YG's first non Korean artist, right? Yes. So, how did they get to you? How did you hear about all of this? Oh, well, I always, uh, when I, in Thailand, I always listen to K-pop songs. Love like, it. I love K-pop singer. And I told mom that, oh, I want to be mm. one of, part of them. I want to be a K-pop artist, artist yeah. you know? And then, uh, what is it? Mm. Thankfully. Thankfully, the YG, they have an audition oh. in Thailand. Oh. And same yeah, as and same, as, and yeah. same as you. Yeah. And then I, I just got in, and then, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> she flew over. Yeah. Mm -hmm. To a country where she couldn't speak the language at all. At all. Just only <laughs> 안녕하세요. <laughs> <laughs> and that's it. Yeah, and that's it. That's crazy to me. Like, even that. And that's, like, the first hurdle out of many hurdles that you're about to go over, which is one of the biggest is you don't know the language. You yeah. have to, and you leave your family. Mm-hmm, yeah. mm-hmm. What kept you going? And this is a question for all of you, because training is not easy i'm assuming it's years and years and it's really it, intense yeah there's a lot everything in your world is yeah. different mm -hmm. overnight yeah what keeps us going yeah what was that motivation for me it was like this drive like i was like i cannot go fly all the way back to australia without making this work like i felt like it was a fight against myself because it was really really difficult to be honest you know mm -hmm. being away from family and i was so young mm -hmm. i'd never left I had never slept um, outside of my house for like more than two weeks, you know, <laughs> at that age. Yeah. But I had to just leave and um, the culture wasn't like fully like in my blood yet. Mm -hmm. So it was very difficult. But for me, it was more like I have to, I have to make this work before I like, you know, I'm never going to leave Korea without making this work it was more of like my drive. I was more like angry about it. Like <laughs> this has to work. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, kind of the same like you know we all kind of just dropped everything that we were, we were, we're doing, doing. Mm -hmm. like our whole life just changed overnight mm -hmm. and um, and they put us into these groups of girls and just survive like do like a survival thing every month and some people just go home after a month mm -hmm. some people go home after three years it's all different and to see some of the girls that I trained with go home just made me more like um motivated yeah motivated yeah. because it's we all had one dream and it's it wasn't an easy thing to just stay there and yeah. go on w with what we want to do so I just yeah. from there, just I don't want to go home. That's all. Yeah. That, that was the only thing on my mind. And, and you're so close to it, right? You just want to keep going, and, and <laughs> your your dreams are at a fingertip. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
Jisoo, by the way, I have not forgotten about you. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> How are you? I'm fine. <laughs> <laughs> you play the drums? Traditional drums. I read that online. Wow. wow. <laughs> Thank you. And I was watching you acting and stuff. <laughs> oh. Oh, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> yes. are, are you still open to acting roles? Oh, uh, oh. Uh, but now, I'm going to do a lot of Blackpink. I'm so excited to be a lot of people who are watching this tour. I'm going to be a lot more focused on this tour. So she, she, like, <laughs> she says, but for now, like... Um, Working as a member of Blackpink is <laughs> so, um, is is like really ha she's really happy doing that for now. So I think she's more focused on Blackpink's work. <laughs> Beautiful, <laughs> because there's there's nothing but opportunity ahead of you guys, which is crazy. Kill this love EP. That is the most recent EP that you've put out there into the world. Um, I, w where do we start here? I want to start with Kick It, I guess. Kick It? Mm. Kick That's it. my favorite song. Oh. Really? Oh. Wow. wow. That's so, Can That's I so kick nice it? So <laughs> great. <laughs> Thank you. My interpretation of the song might be off from how you guys interpret it, but uh, does it have to do with stereotypes and the name Blackpink? Mm. How is it all connected? Can you, like... Like the song? Yeah, like, what is it? Tell me the story behind the record. Um, I mean, <clears throat> I guess it's like... It goes for like whatever, like the listener, if you decide to hear it this way, it could be that this way. And if you kind of change the story up, it could be whatever you can um, put your mind to it. But I guess basically it's just like, it's about freedom. It's like, can I just let go of all mm. these like, you know, restrictions and like names and, you know, da da and just be myself. Can I just kick it and... Just be you. Just be mm. me. No stereotypes, no, no preconceived judgments. No nothing, yeah. <laughs> That's how I. That's how I felt with it. Yeah, that's exactly what it is. <laughs> what are you thinking over there? I just love like the last forty seconds where there's like that chant where it seems like everyone's singing. Yeah, I love that part. Yeah, uh -huh. we we had a blast seeing that in the studio. <laughs> did you guys all just get in there and sing that part together? Yeah, yeah, we did. We really just that was a. We only had the lyrics and we just got in and mm -hmm. our producer just gave us the melody right in the booth. Yeah, mm -hmm. inside the booth. So like really. Let's just do it. Yeah. <laughs> and he was like, don't sing it well. Like, yeah. please just don't. Sing it however yeah. you guys want it. You have That's to be happen. more, like, reckless with it. So we did. It was fun. Uh, why, why is that part written all in English? Mm. Um, I think... Uh, when, we, when we make our songs, like, um, we don't usually think before... We, yeah, like we don't set it like, oh, okay, this, this is a Korean, song. yeah. Because and our producer speaks English, and he's actually more of a English speaker. Yeah, <laughs> so sometimes we would write our demos in English. Sometimes, and sometimes we just stick with it because it's yeah. just perfect the way it is, mm -hmm. and we don't want to change it up into Korean mm -hmm. sometimes. Mm -hmm. So whatever like yeah. fits perfectly, we yeah. try to put in. Mm -hmm. Nothing in that's like fake. We don't force anything to be Korean, or we don't force anything to be English. I think it'll kind of just kind yeah. of just finds its own place. Are, are you creatively open to doing an original record all in English? Oh, I mean, we're down. Yeah. yeah. We're always doing it already. Like, we're yeah. making demos in English. So yeah, like full no songs in English. Mm -hmm. Boombaya. <laughs> my favorite oh. the debut song yeah that's on square one back in 2016 yeah. mm -hmm. whistle too right those two records kind of mm -hmm. came back to back you've been how many times do you think you've performed boom by oh wow wow <laughs> <laughs> literally countlessly a thousand times like a thousand times yeah, yeah. Is it weird that that record is just now catching on here in the states, and now is you have? It? I mean, I think so. <laughs> no. I've listened to it a thousand times over the weekend. Oh, okay. I love it. Also, who does that chant in there? There's like a like a scream almost, but like um, like, I, what part is it? Opa? <clears throat> you mean the opa part? Mm. Wait, do it, is it during like, the chorus? Or? Yeah, and it comes in a couple times. Like, it, opa, opa. I think that's it. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, oh, okay. Was it her? I don't remember. We all, <laughs> I think we all tried it out yeah, once. Yeah. 
That was funny recording it though. It was yeah. funny. <laughs> is, is that the song that says middle finger up, F you pay me? Uh, uh, <laughs> yeah. That's my favorite part. <laughs> yeah. That's her part. That's my we part. We even have a routine for it, but we had to change it up a little. Yeah. Yeah. Why? To be more public. Um, be a little. Yeah. <laughs> a little. We have a lot, a lot of taken. younger fans. So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so we changed it up to like, just like, just fingers, like this. Like, Oh, yeah, point yeah. yeah. your fingers up. Point your fingers up. I like it. <laughs> point your fingers up. That Coachella performance of that song, and you do like the windmill arms. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> that face, Jenny, is exactly like <laughs> so intense. And I feel like your arms are going to fly off. Yeah. It's like, <laughs> and that's super fast. It's, like. <laughs> it's so intense. I know. And the half flip? And the half flip, yeah. yeah. <laughs> is there a move that was the hardest for you to tackle? Oh, like a piece of choreography? Say, like the hair flips and the, the hair flips yeah, on. It's the hardest. Mm. It hurts. But you just gotta ha- you <laughs> yeah. just have to let it go. Like let's say you just yeah. did your hair perfectly and you kind of don't want to ruin but you just, you just have to let it go. You can't hold on to it. Because, <laughs> like, <laughs> it's like, let the hair go. <laughs> <laughs> who, uh, who like takes, who do the moves come easiest to? Like who? Like choreography? Yeah. Is. Yeah. Least. Lisa. Definitely, she's our dancer. No. The moves come yeah. easiest to you? Yeah, she just she's, she knows how like to like. She has a computer in her head. <laughs> and then like, it, like she sees something, it's like oh okay, she does it in like a second. She copies yeah. it in a second. So. Wow. <laughs> what are you thinking about when you dance? Are you thinking about what you're doing next, or are you just lost in it? I just. I don't want to think any about anything. anything. Oh, I get it. Dancing. Yeah. You just, just go. I just yeah, like just let my. Body moves. Take control. <laughs> That's beautiful. <laughs> That's beautiful. Whoa. Um, uh, another record I like. I, I don't want to say it wrong. Uh, do do. Do do do. You got it right. You were doing it right. No, yeah. like I want to sing it, but I can't. Like, <laughs> no, say, say it. Hit you with it. Did it? Did it? Do? Yeah. yeah. Do. So good. Yeah. So good. <laughs> I mean that that just I don't know. These records are so pr- they're produced so beautifully, and the the music is just Aww. boom. Yeah. Do you have a record that you're the most connected to? From to sell them. I mean, any? from the beginning. From the beginning. From the beginning. Do you have one, Lisa? Like, you're my favorite. Connected to yeah, your favorite. Uh, uh-huh. songs we have. <laughs> Whistle. 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 Oh, yeah, whistle. Do you like the acoustic version of whistle that you do, or do you like the produced version? The the normal version. The original, version, one. The original oh. one. I love the acoustic, though. Yeah. Oh. The strip back is great. Oh. Playing with Fire is another great record. We love. I love that song. You like it? Yes. I think that mix of Korean and English is so beautiful. They flow into each other. Yeah. Um, when you're... When you're putting vocals on it, when you're rapping on these records, are you embodying somebody else's words? Are you adding your own words to it? How do, like what is the writing process like? We're uh, given with the lyrics, right? Yeah, like our pro- producer you work always with gets to get yeah. the like the best. We would sit in the couch <laughs> in the back, and he would yeah. just be inspiring. Yeah, on his phone on the computer. Yeah. And then you embody the lyrics or yeah. you embody the verses? Basically. Mm. Um, I mean, I've seen them do it and I think they change it in a way. Like sometimes, let's say there is a demo done, but they change it in like a totally different way. Like it's like, um, it's pretty cool t- to see. Um, yeah. Mm. Put your own color onto it. Mm. I think they're very good at that. <laughs> it's what makes it special? Now, Jenny and Lisa, you guys are the rappers, right? Yes. Yes. Was rapping something you've always done, or is that new when you joined the group? Uh, for me, I started rapping because when I first came to YG, I was I think I was the only one who could speak English in the mm-hmm. whole within the trainees, mm-hmm. and you know we had to cover pop songs, and they mm-hmm. always have raps, uh-huh. and they're like, "You could speak English pretty fast. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you try rapping?" And I'm like, "Okay," and I enjoyed it as soon as I started. So, yeah. I, I actually haven't sang for a long time, if mm-hmm. you really think about it. I only just started singing, like, when I when we mm-hmm. debuted. Yeah. When we started mm-hmm. preparing for it. Yeah, mm-hmm. until then, I was just rapper all the way. Yeah. <laughs> rapper Jenny. 
Interesting. Because solo, you're the first one to have your solo mm-hmm. project go through, but you yeah. all are having one. Mm-hmm. So when you when you dive into solo, mm-hmm. you know you need to rap on it, right? Mm-hmm. You, I, it was a hard decision to make, actually. Like, these days, I'm really into singing, too. Mm-hmm. But then I feel like both singing and rapping kind of represents who I am, so I had to mm-hmm. mix, it mix it up it in up. there. Do both. Yeah, do both. How are you doing on your solo project? Um, well, we've got a few songs down, but we're still contemplating. It's always a hard decision, I guess. But, I mean, everything's... I, like, even members, I'm sure, like, we're, they're preparing little step yeah. steps um, at a time. But, yeah. <laughs> You're prepared- Can't tell you anything, like, exact <laughs> about it yet. Kiss and Makeup featuring Dua Lipa. Probably, oh. I mean, f- really, it slaps. So freaking good. Uh, what is that process like? Like the fact that Dua Lipa is even down to do a record and wants to do a record with you guys, iconic. Crazy. Iconic. Yeah, I love you. I love you, Dua. <laughs> I love you, She's Dua. the coolest. Yeah. Yeah. She came to Korea for a show and mm-hmm. me and Lisa went down and watched the show. We met her mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. she was just so cool about it. It's like, yeah, baby. I've heard of Blackpink and you know, let's do a song together. And after a year, she sent us kiss and makeup and mm-hmm. yeah. just ta da! Like hit us up with like the best song ever. Yeah. We're like, yes. And, and you guys added Korean lyrics to it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we did to that make it a fun. little fun. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. Really, it's beautiful what you guys have done and how you guys really embody just this global culture mm-hmm. and in your art and what you stand for. Music is a universal language, mm-hmm. and it's obvious in your fans and the assortment of people who yeah. really relate and see and hear themselves in the music you all put out. Mm-hmm. It's really cool just to be cool. over here as somebody who's been affected positively by your music, but also oh. get to watch other people uh, be affected for the better, too. It's yeah. really special stuff. So all the hard work is really worth it. Yay. Yay. That's super nice to hear. <laughs> it, it's the truth. Who came up with the phrase black pink in your area? Oh, our producer. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I love that. Yeah. Well, it was fun recording it. We were like, mm. what? Really? <laughs> black pink now in your area? Now we can't do a song without it. Yeah. <laughs> can you guys say it right now? Black pink, pink in, in your area. area. <laughs> <laughs> but even that phrase kind of, it, it showcases this global thing that everybody and anybody can be a part of it and black pink is anywhere. Yeah. Mm-hmm. We're in your area. No matter, <laughs> no matter where your area is. Yeah. Letting them know. We're in your area. So wherever you are, we are. <laughs> We're there. <laughs> We're there. What songs are you covering right now on this new tour? Do you have any covers in the set? Um, We're actually continuing with the last set, but we just kind of like put it up a notch or like changed it up a little bit mm. here and there. Yeah. So are we still covering Beyonce? Beyonce? Oh, oh no. I, I wish. <laughs> <laughs> no, not this time around. <laughs> I, was just, I was just making sure. I don't know. I, I've been... I gave my whole weekend to or you, you and your music. you could come to the show on Wednesday and why? Oh, I'm 100%. There. <laughs> <laughs> I'm yeah. so there. It's crazy. Okay, Kiss... Uh, Kill This Love, that is EP. It deserves your ear. You should listen to it. Any of you guys try to produce your own music? Write your own records? Um... So far, we've kind of gone with um, what our producer really prepares for us. But I mean, um, yeah, yeah. anything's open. Yeah. You've learned so much since the beginning of this journey, you know? Just soaking in knowledge (laughs) like a sponge. That's what's fun about what we're doing, I guess. It's cool. Yeah, you guys are definitely my favorite K-pop group. <gasps> Yay. Wow. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> well, I'm serious. What a statement. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I, like, I like all the music. It's so good. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Would you guys say you're the best? Um, you, don't, uh, you don't have to answer that if you don't maybe. want to. <laughs> <laughs> well, Blackpink, everybody, Woo. sending you a lot of love. Thanks for hanging out and giving us your energy. It really means thank a lot. Thank you so much. Thank, thank, you. thank you for having us. Anytime. Kill this love. I really hope you enjoyed that conversation. If you did, please subscribe and also check out our podcast. There's a link in the description and also comment and like and do things. Other interviews are on the screen somewhere. So click them. Thanks for watching.